Hi, welcome to Around the World in As Long As It Takes. Today we're at the Birmingham Motorhome and Caravan Show. We're coming to see if there are any other brands or layouts that may suit our needs better. It's usually a good fun day out, so let's go and see. It's a bit of a different layout from what uh, we've seen before. Kind of, it's almost like a double, a twin room. Yeah, it converts to a double as well. Though. Yeah. There's a pillow thing that goes up in the middle. I think that thing just pulls out, yeah. doesn't it? I think so, yeah. Huh. And then that'll have the bigger garage. It's only four berths though. I presume that this would convert into a sleeping area as well. I like this where the front swivels. Hmm. That's quite nice isn't it? 32,000 pounds. Yes, what is this? An Aldous what? An Aldous expensive. <laughs> this is the Aldous Supreme 115. So this is just a little one. But it's nice if you just two of you. So you've got the swivel around. I presume there'll be a table that'll go up here. And then you've got your bathroom at the back. It's actually quite nice inside isn't it? And little kitchen. It's this cute. Is what when, uh, <laughs> it's just two of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just two of us. Quite nice. This is the Elder Supreme 155. So again, similar in the front, but slightly bigger. In that you have your kitchen over there, the bathroom over there, and a nice bed at the back. So that's quite nice with a fixed bed. Quite a bit of storage. And then you got your little all-in-one bathroom there with your shower and your toilet to win the cutest little caravan of the show. It's <laughs> so tiny. And then you have your little bed area. And cupboard and cooking area. Really cute and compact. Hands up, stand tall. Shoulder to shoulder as you hear your call. No longer waiting, anticipating. Do this it must be four berth, but not four seat belts. Um, like the garage, rear lounge, and front lounge. That's just weird because I don't think you can really have seat belts. No, because they're side facing. You know what? The three of us could use a van like this quite easily. Got a table that pops up in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a cute little kitchen. Tiny little oven. Look at this cute little oven. <laughs> the fridge isn't too bad. Look at this cute little oven. <laughs> and then you got a cooking area. And it's even got a toilet. See? You've even got a toilet and a little shower. That's so cute. Yeah. And it's tall enough to stand in. Oh, it's a Swiss. Van, van. That's an open. She got four seatbelts. <laughs> Again, though, four seatbelts, four beds. And this, but it is nice big living space. Mm. The garage. Mm. Over cat bed, which is nice and handy. And then you've got the four seat belts over there. Oh, nice little cubby hole for you. And then the kitchen. Full oven and stove. Nice big fridge freezer. This is the back bed. Ah, yeah. So you've 
you've got six seat belts there. And I presume there's a table that'll come up. You got one that sort of swivels. Table clips on. Yeah. Oh, and then again, you got the more cab space, and then this pops down. <laughs> so you still have the over cab bed, but then it does. So you can actually leave it down, yeah. or you can have it popped up, which is quite nice. Have the extra space. This extra seating space. Lots of oh, this seating is nice. space. Wow. Six seat belts. So when I told the guy we're looking for something with a real lounge. I like this little six berths. This is nice and clean. Seat belts. Yeah, didn't he didn't bother to bring me in. And then you've got the. Uh, oh, this is nice. Right, and then here is the back area for the six seat belts. Living area. Over cab bed, which is quite nice. A little oven. Bit of over store, overhead storage, and then that goes through to the garage. So a nice huge garage, which is quite nice. And then this has got the bed. Um, you can drop the bed down a bit. So if you want the bed to be a bit lower, this is obviously at maximum height. And you've got a little fridge and bathroom. So a shower, basin, toilet. No over cab bed, but this one has the electric pull down bed. So the front seat swivels a bit, which is quite nice. This would be a four seat belt. Um, this is more like the one that we had. We've got the little kitchen. Full-sized fridge, bathroom, and then this is the ah, got your shower on this side, and then you've got the full big island bed on this side, which obviously gives you the garage space underneath, and then you've got your separate toilet basin on this side. But again, this is just a four berth, so slightly smaller and then that's the drop down bed at the top like what we had on our test drive there's a pair of 675 which is the double bunk version so again you've got the drop bunk down bunk which you can lift up or get the extra garage space there's people inside but I imagine the layout's about the same this one's got the overcare bed yeah this is the 707 Again, it's got the big garage, so there you can see the bunks. You come in at the back, and you've got the bunk beds, you've got the bathroom, so, toilet, shower, nothing. Got a nice big full length fridge, the L shaped kitchen. And then again, you've got the electric drop-down bed. Quite a nice size living area, actually. So that is quite nice. Again, the front seats won't swim around, but that's expected. So this is the 746, which is the one that we're looking at. Uh, 49 grand, so not too bad. Are you breaking the table again? Yep. <laughs> right, that's nice because the table moves. So, fixed over cab bed. For Madam Katie. That's just storage, isn't it? Yeah. That's, oh, those are the pillows for the bed that we couldn't find last time. Alright. So, I've got the rest of the Lots of your cupboard space, kitchen area, your cupboard, cooker, fridge, and on this side we have the bathroom almost feels a bit more spacious as well. Then? Then what? Then some of the ones I've seen. <laughs> and then you have the rear lounge. See, if you just take this shelf out, take this door off, 
Yeah, we can put a microwave up there. Easy fit a microwave in there. Yeah. I'm not sure if it has enough ventilation, but... See, and then you can see, if you're looking all the way down here, you've got lots of uh, living space. You're in the way of my living space shot. I'm trying to get out of the way. <laughs> right, so there's all... See, this just does feel so much less claustrophobic, doesn't it? So much more chillaxed. <laughs> <laughs> this one again, the drop down bed. The living area. So you've got the front swivel seats, which is quite nice. Four beds. Four seats. Four seat belts. Shared kitchen. Fridge on the side. More but unusual out at the back. You've got two twin beds at the back. So you've got a bit more. You've got the storage space. And then rear bathroom. Which is quite nice. You've got the toilet, basin, and shower to that side. So this one is quite nice space wise. And the back doors close. So you can make this a nice private bedroom, which is quite nice as well. This is the other one I wanted to look at. I'm not sure how many six births it is. Model. I'm massively a fan of that kitchen. Oh, oven's on top of the fridge. Yeah, so there's the oven, there's the fridge. Rear island bed. There's not. Oh, shower oh, there. bedside. Toilet and basin this side. Ah, oh, lights are on eventually. Hey, lights are on. Show the toilet. Which is quite nice. It's nice having the two separate, I think, but it's not make or break. And then, well, that's the thing. I don't think you do because those side facing. Uh, seat belt, yeah. Yeah, but technically, that's not an actual official seat belt. They're side facing. You never know. You never know. You never know unless you choose. So. Oh. While we're at the motorhome show, we listened to a talk by Dave Hurrell, who's a freelance motorhome journalist, and he gave us two pieces of advice which I thought were valuable. The first was buy the smallest motorhome you can be comfortable in. The idea to that is that you can't always get big vehicles into every location you may want to visit. And number two was make a list because every single motorhome has compromises and you kind of want to figure out which are the compromises you want to make and which are the features that are the must-haves for you. Right, this is the palace. So you have a proper huge bedroom. You have a proper full-on bathroom, stunning shower. Length fridge, beautiful kitchen. So, how many beds is this one? This it's one's got the pool, but yeah. So, it's got the pull down bed, the turnaround living area, and how many seat belts does it have? This one, the standard is four. Four. So, it's four seat belt, four berths when you yeah. get two there, yeah. and then this converts into another two. It can do, but then, like you say, if you're going up to a six, you're going to have. You only got the seat belts, yeah. 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 Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. He's selling for the same price as our house. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, our house is slightly more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Sadly. But that's a lot of bus for your money. Yeah. 
Coming up in part two, we look at Detlef's, Remor, Sunlight, and more. We go back in time and we cross the Atlantic to see what our American buddies are using. If you're tired of looking through motorhomes, please check out our Italy to UK motorhome trip we did in March this year. As always, if you like our content, please help our channel grow by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Thanks for watching.